Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Thursday, the 20th of February. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather drier in coming days. It looks like we'll be dry tomorrow through Sunday, but more rain comes back early next week. Let's check the upper air look across the country this afternoon. Troughing over the northern states, delivering cold air. And as advertised, this has been a very cold and wet day for the state. That was the radar at 228. Rain still falling over much of the state, but the rain is ending over the northwestern counties. There's the visible satellite view. Clouds cover all of Alabama. The clearing line is now through Memphis, and we'll see that clearing coming on here, through here tonight. And under those clouds earlier today, yes, we, as expected, had snow falling in some of the communities up near the Tennessee state line. This snow video coming from Montesano Mountain in Huntsville. But they were above freezing. They've had no travel impacts up there. Huntsville 37 at 2 o'clock, Coleman 37, Birmingham at 44, Tuscaloosa 47. As the sky clears late tonight, we'll go below freezing early tomorrow morning. And around the nation, very cold air continues over the northern half of the United States. There's the watch warning map. The flash flood watch for parts of central and south Alabama will expire tonight. And off to the east, we have winter weather advisories for much of North Carolina and southern Virginia. And also a winter storm warning in effect for parts of northeastern North Carolina and southeastern Virginia as snow continues to fall there. Severe weather outlook through tonight. No severe storms expected. Maybe some thunder for parts of central Florida. Tomorrow, no storms across the country. And on day three, which is Saturday, got a risk of severe storms back over the southwest United States. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Our next chance of rain will be early next week. Now, this includes the rain we had today. Rain amounts between this morning and Thursday morning of next week between one and two inches for much of the state. So, model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid tomorrow afternoon at 3, troughing on the East Coast, and a very dry air mass tomorrow, a different kind of day. We'll have the sun back in full force. We start the day in the upper 20s. The high should be in the upper 40s. This is Saturday. Once again, lots of sunshine throughout the day. A cold morning will be in the middle 20s early in the morning, but the high should be in the upper 50s. And Sunday, we stay dry. The sky partly to mostly sunny with a high at or just over 60 in most spots. We note that next storm system to the west in Monday. A surface low should be near St. Louis and will forecast a good chance of showers and possibly a thunderstorm. Probably not a severe weather look. Based on the lack of instability, the high Monday should be in the low 60s. Tuesday of next week, the better chance of rain shifting into far south Alabama. And then Wednesday, an upper trough comes in with a cold front, and that will bring noticeably colder air. Uh, we'll probably see temperatures dropping into the 40s during the day. And this is suggesting there could be a few snow flurries north of the state. This is the European on Wednesday of next week. It looks like a little better chance of showers if this verifies rain showers. But again, probably nothing too heavy. And then a week from today, Thursday the 27th, troughing over the east, and that is a cold and dry look for the state. Let's go out 10 days. This is Sunday, March 1st. First day of meteorological spring, troughing up in the northeastern states, and that looks cool and dry. Here's the rain for Birmingham for the next 15 days off the European Ensemble. The mean, about three inches. Temperatures, we will warm up into the 60s early next week, but will cool down by the latter half of next week. In fact, highs could drop back in the 40s by Thursday. And hot off the presses, we've got the new CPC outlook. This is for the 28th of February through the 5th of March. Still suggesting below average temperatures for much of the southeastern United States, including the great state of Alabama. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. You can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.
KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.